nearly all chemical processes happen in a solvent. And in the cell, of course, water is the solvent of life. So far, water was thought to be more like a background in which the proteins interact. However, solvation sign now puts the solvent as a major player in that game. We have to understand in detail this interaction in order to understand biomolecular function. RESOLVE stands for Ruhr Explore Solvation. So it's a consortium which includes the expertise and groups from three universities, as well as three Max Planck Institutes, Solvation science now is a bottom-up approach where we want to develop quantitative and predictive models of the interaction of the solvent with the solute on a molecular level. We are connecting solvation science to biomolecular function. On the one hand, we are interested in the structural and dynamic properties of the smallest biomolecule, which is actually water. On the other hand, the effect of co-solvents on the structural and dynamic properties of biomolecules, such as peptides and nucleic acids. We combine a variety of experimental techniques to cover, for example, the whole range of interaction, starting from the femtosecond up to the microsecond and even the static interaction, including diffraction techniques. We use molecular beam laser spectroscopy to study the interactions that dominate the conformational structures of biomolecular building blocks. Our work contributes to a bottom-up understanding, if you will, of uh, bigger bioactive compounds and macromolecules. In my research group, we use terahertz spectroscopy to study the wall of water and the interaction of water with proteins and biomolecules. We found that the collective hydrogen bond motion is retarded towards the active site, in this case, the charged zinc atom. In my lab, we are trying to understand how natural co-solvents, osmolites, are able to help organisms withstand extreme environmental conditions. That would be, for example, conditions in the deep sea where pressures up to the one kilobar level are encountered. Coming to RESOLVE, I wanted to look at protein folding and aggregation in the context of neurodegeneration. And that's why we're doing a lot of experiments in C. elegans and neurons of C. elegans to come close as possible to the real question. One third of the cell consists of macromolecules and not of water molecules. So we learned how to interpret the influence of those macromolecules on a protein folding reaction on an aggregation reaction. Experimental technique have gone down and become microscopically. On the other hand, simulation techniques have upscaled. We are mostly simulating protein molecules, that is soluble proteins, but also membrane proteins. But uh, most of our computational effort is actually spent on simulating the water molecules, the solvent molecules. In addition to providing mechanistic interpretations of experiments, we also aim at um, designing and predicting new experiments. We collaborate with a pharmaceutical company to improve the um, properties of uh, biopharmaceuticals. With our simulations, we can provide microscopic insights to go beyond the usual trial and error approaches used, which are very time and resource intensive. Solvation science require the close interaction between different disciplines, different groups, but also in our consortium between different institutions. Within RESOLVE, I investigate um, biomolecule solvent interactions. For example, we quantify the interaction between uh, enzymes and individual solvents. Simulation is important uh, for our projects because it adds atomistic detail and thereby it ideally complements our experiments. We are doing dynamic simulations of all of them in explicit solvent. We should probably have a look at the structure of its bindings. I am group leader at the Mass Planck Institute for Cold Research. In my group, we investigate the role of solvent 
on protein-protein interactions, enzymatic activity, and drug design in biologically relevant processes. My collaboration with Fran Schulz focuses in the effect of solvent on enzymatic activity and also how solvent is involved in the interactions of ligand with biomolecules. We hope to find molecular rules for the optimization of enzyme activity in various different solvents. This is a direct biotechnological application. ZMAS is a home of salvation science at the Ruhr University. So this is a new research building which will host this new hired faculty, the um, students, postdocs working interdisciplinary together in the field of salvation science. Given the new modern technologies we have here at our disposal, we can come up with models which take into account the important roles which solvent have. We will go beyond biology in vacuo towards biology in water, the solvent of life.